Let's play some Sentinels. <laughs> oh, Pickle fans, come on. <laughs> oh, you've been quoted out of context. You must be a famous person now. I am a famous person now. But we're going to win. Unless the environment kills us. See, I could have waited and... We have damage, Dread Warlord boss! I did not think that would work out, but it did. Well done, team. Woo! <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It's Tuesday. It's seven ish. So that must mean it's time to welcome you all to what show, John? Sentinels Live. Sentinels Live. John is on so many shows because he's so famous. Took me a minute there. He just I'm, on, I'm always on TV. He it's is. The, the Arnold Show. Exactly right. Thank you for joining us, everyone, around the digital tabletop while we play Sentinels of the Multiverse. The goal of these streams, as the regulars know, is to have some fun while showing you how to play the game as well as covering some strategies that might help you win. Handlelubber Games does believe in civil rights for everyone and is being as inclusive as possible. So any comments or activity that actively work against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated. If you do enjoy the show, please like, share, follow, and subscribe. And be sure to check out all the other shows right here on twitch.tv slash Games. Dolphins Dive is on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. And Tales from the Archive is Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Quick show notes to let you know, this show, Sentinels Live, your favorite of all Twitch shows that have ever existed, will be 30 minutes late next week. Um, there's just some scheduling stuff we cannot get around. So we're outrageous. Gonna... It is outrageous. I'm I sorry. I demand a refund. Exactly. So we will be pushing the show by about a half an hour next week. Um, I think it will become clear why sometime next week. But we will see you at the usual time plus 30 minutes. I'm Jeremy. You can follow me at Mr. J Handle. That's M-R-J-H-A-N-D-E-L. And joining me as always is John. Where can people follow you, John? Right here uh, at Migrant P on Twitter most of the time. That's the main place. Yeah. I'm on Discord too. So, but yeah, just we're... don't follow me on there. <laughs> don't follow me. Yeah, we're trying to work out the whole Discord thing. We're still learning. Um, Handle Lobber Games, if you add Handle Lobber Games on Discord, that's usually me, but sometimes Krista. Um, and we're trying to keep an eye on it, but Discord is a new thing that I'm still learning how to use. <laughs> As you can always follow the company at Handelabra, H-A-N-D-E-L-A-B-R-A, -E on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, etc., etc., etc. As we are the developers, you can always be sure to get some insight to the process and maybe even see some stuff before anyone else. I and... am on Discord, really. See? It's really there. That's me. All right. Um, and as you know, during the fall of the variants... If you tune into Sentinels Live every Tuesday night, at the end of the show, we make a new variant available for unlocking. And there will be a new one this evening. So you'll have to stay until the end of the show to find out who it is. It's the fall of the variants. The fall of the variants. The game does include a tutorial that covers the basics, but we always do our best to explain exactly what we're doing, what we do, when we do it, and why, typically. Sometimes with John, that makes a lot of sense. With me, it makes very little sense, but I do try to explain it. Depending on how long it takes for us to win or lose, we often play multiple games in every two-hour episode. And of course, Sentinels of the Multiverse is available for iOS, Android, as well as PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam, and always in good old analog, cardboard, and ink. Check out sentinelsdigital.com for more info and to download and try the demo absolutely free. So one other thing we did want to mention that is not Sentinels-related is that our other game, also known as Game Two, is going to be launched? Game Two is going to be launching on Steam tomorrow. That's right, people. Soon tomorrow. Soon TM means that bottom of the ninth, which has been available for phones since August and tablets since mid September, will be available for Steam tomorrow uh, there will be some other stuff if you follow us on twitter facebook etc 
um, you will get your notifications about that. Uh, but tomorrow, sometime early in the morning, Eastern-ish time, uh, Sentinels of the, or excuse me, bottom of the ninth will be available for Steam. And shh, don't tell anybody, but it's going to be on sale for the first week. That's shh, the thing. Don't tell anyone. Tell we're doing, everyone. We're, we're, yeah, tell everyone. Actually, tell everyone. Actually, tell everyone. <laughs> we're doing a launch week discount, which is a thing that Steam does, and is, they actually have like support built into it for like, hey, like, you can do a discount for your launch week, but we've never done it before. We did not do it for Sentinels, um, mainly just because I don't think we realized it was a thing, um, but we are doing it for Bottom of the Night. It will be 15% off on Steam. So it'd be nice if there was an invite to the Discord in your Twitch description, provided that's possible. Uh, thank you, Boogie2003. I will tell Krista, hey, Krista, when you're watching this tomorrow, do that thing that he says. Yeah. <laughs> you could probably put a link to the, the Realm Discord as well as to our own Discord that we're trying to get set up. That is true. We are also trying to set up a Discord. Because we're not just Sentinels. We're just, we have a lot of Sentinels, but yes. we're not only Sentinels. That's not, yeah. I mean, Sentinels, of course, is game one. And, and we're going to be mostly not Sentinels, and, actually. And so. bottom of the ninth, of course, is game two, which implies that there might be a game three. That sounds like a thing that might be a thing. A game three? Does that sound like something, John? That might be a website. That might be a thing. Like, I don't know if you went to, like, maybe handalabra.com slash game three. That might don't be a thing. Don't give it all away. Come on. Let them puzzle out something. That might be a thing. I mean, it's been on Twitter for a good six hours, which means it's, of course, That's gone viral, good. and it's had, you know, millions of followers, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. So that is 100,000 retweets. 100,000 retweets. Exactly. We are trending. We are even ahead of – I don't even know what's trending today, so I can't even make that joke. <laughs> anyway – all right. It's just that trendy. You don't even know. I'm so trendy. I'm like ahead of the trend. Uh, Bjorning says, I wish Game 3 were Sentinel Tactics, but I guess it's not then. I, <laughs> beats me. I'm only the CEO. I don't know anything about this stuff. All right. So let's see here. Quick play. Online. Oh, that's not good. Sentinel's crashed. That's not a thing that ever happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oops. Switch that off. You're there, and now you're gone. All right, there we Are you go. you getting notifications again? No, uh, Sentinels crashed. And then they might have gotten an, a, a second or two of, of an in-game news item that they weren't supposed to see. Oh, screw it. We'll tell you what it is. It's our anniversary this weekend. Who knew that? Who knew that it was the third? They were just going to frame grab it anyway. Yeah, they're going to th frame grab it and, and share it. and Yeah. It is, in fact, the third anniversary of the release of Sentinels of the Multiverse uh, this weekend. So starting on Thursday, there's going to be all kinds of cool stuff happening. Um, there'll be way more information about that coming out in the next couple of days. But just be advised, you should be telling your friends to keep an eye on Sentinels this weekend. Because they're going to be able to pick it up at a discount and maybe even play it for zero dinero. The screen grab hasn't been in the Discord yet. I'm disappointed. Oh, they're not. They're not. Try. Let's go. All right. So it looks like you ended up <laughs> as the king, so you'll be deciding what we are playing tonight. All right. We're going to play. We've been like, I've been wanting to play Akash Buddha, but it always ends up as the second game, and that's, we're not going to do that. Ooh, but we're going to do Ultimate Akash Buddha. Oh, I'm on board. Happen. I'm so on board. I love Akash Buddha. It's a hard game, and it tends to be a long game, but it is so much fun. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the chat to tell me when to stop clicking on the variant button. Oh boy! So the first, let's say, how is this gonna work? So if I get, if I get five, three people to say go, I'll go. If three people say stop, I'll stop. So one person says stop. <laughs> All right. So you're stopping on the base level. That's good. One person says go. Oh, go, there's go, some go, goes. Go. There's some goes. All right, going. All right, I see a Prime Wardens. I see an Extreme oh. Prime Wardens. Oh, I think they said stop here in Extreme Prime Wardens. Is that uh, what happened? That's, that's, I don't know. I and mean, there's, there's that delay, right? Maybe we'll wait until we see some more goes. We're, we are slaves to the process. There's, they just really want Extreme Prime Wardens. We can do that. Oh, 1981 says, uh, Leo says go. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, and stop! <laughs> that's a good time. Alright, we got a couple more goes. 
Let's go one more. One more. Ooh. Let's see if they say stop, or if they're gonna say keep going. We'll see. I mean, the 20 second delay, it's tough. Glop! See if, see if they want that one or not, or if they'll say, if they'll say go. Oh, now they, okay, now they say stop. Now they say stop. All right, I think that makes sense. So this is, of course, Dark Dynamics, the Argent Adept, also known as the Dark Conductor. Power, reveal the top card of any two decks, put one card into play and the other into the trash. So some eagle-eyed people have been trolling the Steam to see uh, the uh, achievements that are coming up because those sort of let the cat out of the bag in terms of which variants are coming because variants are tied to achievements. And so this is the only one of this new batch that we have not shown off yet. So John thought, eh, why not? We'll show them off. Yeah. I think our chat would be really good at Twitch Plays Pokemon. I think that is, pretty a coordinated. Fair, that is a fair point. All right, since you pick the villain, I will pick the environment. Let's see here. I'm trying to think of an environment I haven't ever played against Akash Buta in. Or in which I have not played against Akash Buta would be the correct way to say that grammatically. And I don't actually think I've ever played against Akash Buta in the block. So how about we try the block? All right, Akash Buta has been captured by filter but that was a bad idea. Yeah. How, how, do, how do you capture the spirit of chaos? Somehow as, they did it, but they shouldn't have. And transfer her to another reality or another sort of time-locked prison. Who knows? So we've got uh, ultimate Akash Buta. Let's go over those rules again for everybody who doesn't know. Advance, reduce damage dealt to villain targets by one, and challenge is the Eco Titan. Akash Buta is immune to environment damage and villain damage. And then on her flip side, her advance is at the end of the villain turn, Akash Buta deals the H, deals eight, the H minus one non-villain targets with the highest HP three melee damage each. This is this completely changes, in my opinion, the way that you play Akash Buta, because when you play against her normally, the goal is to try and beat up her limbs so that the limbs will then damage her, but that doesn't work when she has got her challenge uh, mode in effect. So also I heard on Reddit that all you have to do is play your best card. That, yes, that is absolutely the case. So Just figure out what the best card is mind. and play it. That's all you do. Wait, 90% of the time, play your best card. So I hear. Yeah. Hope you're watching uh, Tech of Brash. <laughs> and hope we can uh, reverse your opinion on that. Disabuse you of that silly notion. We might be playing this game next Tuesday. We might have to leave it on the table. Hey, look, special quotes. That rose baton reeks of pride and pain. I must break it, though it might be doing you quite the favor. Where once I played the music, I now command it. You shall bend, proud spirit, or be broken. So there's right. a lot of interesting backstory between Akash Buddha and this variant. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. All right, so... Argent Adept, Dark Conductor, opens with Sadistic Dissonance, Schizo of Frost and Flame, Silver Shadow, and Vernal Sonata. Tachyon, Super Scientific Variant, has got a Fleet of Foot, Lightspeed Barrage, Sucker Punch, and Supersonic Response. Uh, the, the Visionary Unleashed has got a Precognition, Psychic Maelstrom, Telekinetic Cocoon, and Rest the Mind. And Legacy, Young Legacy. America's newest legacy. It's got a couple of thoughts, and next evolution, and a motivational charge. Boom. All right, so we got a rejuvenating entropy. That's great, good. Great time for that to come out, since we have no equipment in play to yeah, destroy. Yeah, so just start wailing on her. All right. All right, so what's my best card? I mean, just play the best card, John. Come on. I don't think that uh, commenter played the Arjuna Adept. Because it is not at all obvious. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start getting out Sadistic Dissonant, which might come in handy. Scarecrow might also be handy because of the Nemesis bonus, but right. I won't be able to perform either of them right away. So, Yeah, so as, with, as is the case with most of the sort of variant Argent Adepts, you know, you get to just perform a um, uh, a perform 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 you get to do a perform activate a perform with base level but almost all of the variants I don't think have yeah, none that. of them 
the yeah the the regular prime wardens has perf uh, a activate and accompany but not a perform so it can be tricky yeah. you got to make sure you get some uh, some instruments out but i do have silver shadow so i'm getting ready for that with this sadistic dissonant so uh i'm gonna use my power and the question is which decks uh, I feel like Tachyon's a good choice because you might just want to discard whatever you got. Sure. And I'm thinking maybe either set myself up or go for Visionary. I mean, against the Cash Buddha here, I'd, I'd kind of rather just come what may when we. Um... The chat seems oh. to be very excited about <laughs> what Dark Conductor made happen with that use of a power. Yeah. I think we'll leave guys, the guys until... Uh, we won't do guys in the stream. We'll leave that as a surprise. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with Legacy. Any Lightspeed Barrage or Danger Sense. I think we'll play... Well, I guess here's the thing. You can play Lightspeed Barrage for zero damage. I know. Ugh, so. It's like the worst possible outcome. We're playing Danger Sense. Yeah, that's fine. I already have another Lightspeed Barrage that you in hate. hand, so... <laughs> yeah so actually what's interesting is um because okay so the dark conductor is sort of an alt version of the cloth six string right I'm saying yeah i mean it's the same power it's the same power and so universe. and yeah. and we knew that that was a thing when we started developing the original Argent adept and so jean-marc planned ahead if you listen to it again, I'm sure we'll hear this power at least one more time. If you think, if you listen to it, you'll notice that all of his instruments are included in the sound that he uses for Dark Conductor because the Dark Conductor is conducting the orchestra. Uh, and Jean-Marc planned for that because Jean-Marc is amazing. I'm not sure if that's the case for Dark Conductor. That's the case for Prime Wardens. I'm pretty sure that's the case for Dark Conductor. Like he planned ahead to use all of the different instruments in the Dark Conductor when he was planning that out. Maybe maybe I'm speaking out of turn. Prime Wardens definitely uses all the instruments, but that one I think is just an organ. But I could be wrong. I I admit that I also might be wrong. We might both be wrong. We might both be wrong. Are we going to do a Dr. Strangelove skit? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm just going to use my supersonic response, even though it's not really going to do much because that's a burst card hey, in my trash. Damage. Yeah, it's one damage. It's a burst damage, card in my trash. We have dealt damage! <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to reveal cards from my deck, because maybe I'll get two bursts, which I will, so I can accelerate assault, and luckily there's They will nothing. both do nothing. Oh, yeah, they'll both do nothing. Uh, <laughs> well, whatever. It's still two bursts in the trash, which is good, because I have my um, light speed barrage in hand. Oh, and I drew another fleet of foot. Good times. Good times! All right. I'm going to go with Precognition. I mean, I could suggest the same thing back on top, which actually isn't a bad idea. That's true. We don't have any equipment in play, and we don't have to play any equipment. Yeah, we, we don't have to. Play. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Suggestion. That card's going on top and going to do nothing. Wait, wait, wait. John, I thought you were supposed to just play your best card. That's clearly Psychic Maelstrom, because that deals damage, right? That that's the, that's, that's true. the best that's card. That's the point of damage. That's the best card. Is it? Is it, though? And I'll do zero damage. All right. So. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to Thok Akash for two. I'm gonna draw a card, superhuman durability, that's good times. And then I will atomically glaze her for another two. Look at that, we have done five damage to Akash Buddha. Look at that. Boom. So only we only need what, another 30 turns like that and the game will be over? <laughs> no problem. You'll be powering up your Lightspeed Barrage just soon enough. Oh, yes. I'm already. I've already got three or That's four first cards good. Actually, in Actually, if we hadn't suggested that on top, we would have gotten Entomb on the environment turn, and that would have been rough. Oof, yes. Uh, I don't know if we can destroy that. All right, so let's pop up. So Warden Hoffel, increase damage dealt by agents by one, reduce damage dealt to agents by one at the start of the environment turn, destroy the inmate with the lowest HP. Uh, yeah, Entomb, I don't know if we can actually get rid of it with what we have, so we might just deal with it. 
We haven't taken any damage yet, so it's not. Well, my fleet of foot might give us something that we can deal with it with. That's true. Uh, yeah, it might help Visionary get something, and it might help you get something. So, uh, or but I mean, the Arjun Adept could get something with Silver Shadow, but it wouldn't be anything that I can actually use this turn. And I don't know if I want to discard two of my cards. I kind of do want to get an instrument, so. I will do Silver Shadow and discard a couple things. Ah, uh, yes, I see people are talking about there was a review of the original Sentinels game way back darn near three years ago. Oh, yeah, how Tachyon was so weak. About how Tachyon was like the weakest character <laughs> in the game, which is it's, it's one of those situations where someone who doesn't know anything about Sentinels is like, oh, okay, interesting. And everybody who's played Sentinels is like, my goodness, what's wrong with this person? <laughs> See, like, you listen to that sound? Yeah, no, fair it's enough. It's just an organ, man. Yeah, the I, th I think The Prime Wardens right. is the one that it has It must have been the Prime the, Wardens one, yeah. All the instruments. Uh, all right, we're going to go Tachyon again and hope for something different. And let's go with the Visionary so that we might get the uh, destroy an ongoing thing. Sucker Punch and Brain Burn. Well, yeah. Let's just <laughs> guard Brain Burn and play Sucker Punch, which does nothing. Which does nothing and goes in the trash, which means I get another burst. Yeah. Yeah, Arjun Adept is in a bad place with this variant, in case it's not clear. <laughs> it is not a good time for him. All right, so I'm going to start with my Fleet of Foot. You get a Polyphoric Flare, Supersonic Response, Rest excuse me, Rest of the Mind, and Inspiring Presence. So nothing to get rid of that in Tomb. Inspiring Presence is nice, but we actually have full hit points, so we don't, we want to save. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I have five burst cards in my trash. I would say the Sonic Vortex when you have some limbs to hit with it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna Supersonic Response again. Get another one damage on Akash Buddha. <laughs> another burst of the trash. And let's go ahead and let's see. Yeah, I think on yourself is still the best chance to get a blinding speed. Yeah, I agree. Well, you might still get one with Quick Insight. Ooh, yeah, so let's Quick Insight first. So I draw a Hypersonic Assault, a Nimble Strike, and Pushing the Limits. Big money, big money, no whammies. All right, what should I discard here? I think we'll discard... Discard your worst card, Jeremy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, so we'll get rid of Sucker Punch. And as much as I love it, I think I'm gonna get rid of Nimble Strike, because I, well, that Hypersonic Assault is tricky, because Yo, she's got that- you're gonna get a plus one from Legacy soon. Oh, okay, all right, fair enough. So I'll get rid of that then. All right, and now I got my Lightning Reflexes, so I will play Pushing the Limits. And I think I'll actually just play Pushing the Limits. No, I mean, like, I mean, you can play two cards now, that's true, but yeah, you could just skip. I mean, I do have 10 burst cards in my trash right now. But one of the lightning, one of my lightspeed barrages is already in my trash, so. Yeah, I'd save them up. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to it. All right, I think it's time to precognition. And we'll see what Akash Buddha has in store. Yeah, let's not have, let's put an arboreal phalanges on top and disrupt the field on the very bottom. I can hit the warden. Oh no, I can't. He has minus one as well. Oh well. I have not been yet unleashed. All right, so am I holding that Inspiring Presence for the moment since we don't need any healing? Yeah, I would hold on to it. Yeah, I mean, I can Flying Smash, Akash, and Warden, or I could just Thok Akash and get a card. What do you draw with Tachyon? Yeah, Superhuman I would, durability. Hold on. I would hold on to it. Yeah, I'll just Thok <clears throat> Akash for two and draw a card. Heroic Interception, loving it. And I will Atomic League Laze her once again. 
She's down to 190, so there's two turns, two rounds, five, and we've done five, five damage. Of the way. Good times, good times. All right, no inmates for the warden to destroy. Here uh -oh. comes some inmates. Here comes some inmates with the prison riot. Yeah, it's gonna play a lot of villain cards. Time crazed prisoner brings out an arboreal phalanges. Another time crazed prisoner brings out a living rock slide. Ugh. I should have done that inspiring presence. Miss Carapace. No, that wasn't too bad. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but I mean, there's I a mean, lot she's of gonna missing. kill all these fools. Oh yeah, look at that! I didn't even re I didn't even realize that. Okay. Nineteen more turns, not thirty-eight turns. So we're five percent each turn. I guess no, we're only five percent after two turns. That's true. Yeah, thirty-eight. You're right. Well, I think we're ramping up. Another mountainous carapace. Oof, my probably my least favorite of the Akash Protect cards. Yes, well, even to... less enjoyable than Entomb to me. You enjoy Entomb? I mean, I don't enjoy it, but I mean, <laughs> I, I hate it less than I hate mountainous carapace because I, I, when you're playing against non-challenge Akash Buta, like the mountainous carapace is getting your way of trying to get things done. Does anyone have any cards they want to put on top of their deck? Like fleet of foot. Yeah, I'm happy to take a fleet of foot. I've got all kinds of vernal sonatas burning a hole in my pocket, so. Or if you want your light speed, but fleet of foot is usually a good call. Yeah, fleet of foot, I'm happy with. Because, like, yeah, light speed barrage helps me if I've got a full trash, but, um,. Lightspeed or Fleetfoot helps everybody. So, yeah, actually, I don't mind taking the Thok back either. Those are good cards. And I wonder what's on top of any two decks, Jeremy. Hmm. I'm going to choose uh, Tachyon's deck and. We may as well, I'd say the environment doesn't have any deck, any cards on top, it's zero. So she's gonna flip over shortly. Uh, Do we I want her flipped? I actually don't even know if you should be allowed to choose the block here, that might be a bug. Because it doesn't have any card. Uh, that's a question for Christopher. I mean, mm -hmm. she's gonna flip because the block's right. gonna shuffle, right? So I'll choose her and discard whatever she would have. Yeah, brambles. Put that in the trash. All right, so we got a silver shadow, blinding speed. Hey, all the things we put on top. Suggestion and thock. Hmm, shocker. All right, I'm going. Let's see Talker. here. Hmm. All right, so let's see if I plan for. Hmm. Like, do I want to sound like Vortex now? If I hold that for when Inspiring Presence is out, that's like a whole nother round and a half almost. What, what would you play now? I'm just trying to decide, like, if I, I can Sonic Vortex now and hit everything for a little bit. But if I wait until Inspiring Presence comes out, it'll do even more. You could like blinding speed on Char, because actually, you know, Warden Hopeful's gonna destroy Char. Yeah, I wasn't even so looking at the environment. Don't even cards. worry about that. I mean, you could nimble strike and draw a card. Yeah, that yeah, that's kind of what I was leaning for towards was that. All right, so let's see. I still can't. You can't really hit anything hit except anything, yeah. Char. If you want. <laughs> right, you might draw some. Research grant. Eh, it's all right. Uh, yes. Well, let's see. Am I going to play two? Yeah, I'm going to play two. Whoops. And you want the card draw anyway. Yeah. All right. So, let's see. I can't use my hypersonic just yet. I'll 
simply just, I think I'll just research grant and synaptic interruption. Get that ready to go. The question is, do I want to experiment or do I want to research? Like experiment is a potentially bigger payoff, but research is a little bit more controlled. Yeah, and you end up with one more card. Yeah, I'm gonna research Grant actually. All right, so we get a HUD goggles, excellent, and a blinding, another blinding speed. All right, so I'm gonna discard one of those blinding speeds. As long as I keep one of them, we're in good shape, and that's another burst in my trash, so I like that. All right, and another synaptic interruption, excellent. All right, so I was thinking of suggesting that rejuvenating entropy back on top, which I think we still haven't played any equipment, so that feels like that's fine. And because the limbs don't, haven't been hit anyways, right. so I'm going to do that. Save this from, I think, from something bad happening when she yep. goes or has her turn. I have no problem with that. Uh, so entropy on top and brambles on the bottom I think and tomb can just stay in the trash where it belongs it can remain entombed and I could hit char for one damage for no reason ooh twist the ether twist the ether good times alright so this is where I'm going to inspire everyone's presence yeah. I'm okay with that And then I will... So even though she's got mad damage reduction, like, she's going to restore all limbs to max HP because we put that on top. So I would still hit her even just though it's hit only... Just hit her, yeah. Even though it's only one damage. For only one, yeah. Anything else you do is just going to get erased, so... And I do have two heroic interceptions, so if we get in dire straits, we can be okay. All right, so she flips. We got a time crazed prisoner. Right, so now if we destroy environment cards, well, if, or if the Warden does, she plays a card, so keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah, those prison riots really accelerate her flipping. Yeah, so this is her advanced rule where she deals a bunch of damage. But I get to redirect. Maybe to one of the carapaces. Well, I was actually thinking the living rock slide, since that hits us, and we want to get rid of that, I assume, as quickly as possible, unless you can make a compelling argument for why. I mean, yes, I sure. understand the That's damage fine. reduction on her. All right. I'm still not as good at, like, thinking all the way through the entire round in terms of how much damage is going to be done. Does anybody have I have reduction? a spoon, no. so if I get hurt a lot, I can go into okay. the spot, so. Yeah, man, I hate the rock slides. They're so annoying. I still haven't found an instrument, but I still have that. Yeah, that Silver Shadow Fleet of Foot combo is pretty rad. Uh, so I think we're just going to do that again. Do, 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 do. And extra hit point doesn't hurt. Indeed. So I'm going to choose Tachyon. Oh, I could just actually, yeah. So move a card on your deck. And I'm just going to skip Arjun Adept. I don't want either of those particularly. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, but I'm just trying to do some quick mental math here about a second light speed barrage. Yeah, Fleet of Foot's probably an overall bet. I have another one still. for next turn. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm going to just keep getting that suggestion back because that's a pretty good lockdown. So. And I'm going to choose Tachyon and a Cash Buddha. Yeah, Earth Sacrifice can go right away. All right, so we get that instrumental conjuration that we knew about. I get another hypersonic assault. 
suggestion and the thought that we knew was coming. All right, so I'm gonna play one of those hypersonic assaults right now. Uh, why would you do that? No, I, can I not hit everything with the boost from? And it expires at the start of your turn. Oh, the start of my turn, right? Okay, thank you. See, these are the kinds. This is I why play hug goggles. Yeah, that's fine. I'll play hug goggles. Good idea. Even though, like, hug goggles, then you get to play more cards in your turn. This is why you had me. Exactly. All right, so yes, I will take this damage so that I can do all kinds of things. All right, so I have 13 burst cards in my trash, which is nothing to sneeze at, but I think... All right, I'm going to start with hypersonic. Hit everything. All right, that's going to destroy an environment card, so watch out for that. Yeah, but whatever comes out is also going to get hit by hypersonic. Except that, unless, of course, it's a primary could be thing that destroys our cards. Oof, more things. That's okay, though. Well, hey, those tombs went in the trash. That's good. Yeah, see? It was all part of my master plan. Sure. All right, so we're going to hit those the things. Sonic noise has not been changed. All right. It's sonic damage. It is supposed to damage you. Sonically. Exactly. All right, so I still have two card plays. Think. All right, so none of those things can deal damage. I'm gonna Sonic Vortex now, and I get to do like 15 things. So I think I get to hit literally everything. So we'll hit that, and we'll hit that. And I'm gonna go completely out of order because I'm sure the OCD people will be really frustrated with me. And I'm gonna hit that, and then I'll hit that. One away from killing that living rock slide. So only two damage against the Kashbuta. And I don't think we have any redirections, so I will just stop dealing with it. Could have had one if you played it first. That's true. Well played. Good point. Um, Alright, so no of those. 13 burst cards in the trash. Or... So John seems to think I should play the synaptic. I would have played Nimble Strike first because he would have drawn a card and had another option. Well, yeah, and I was gonna I was gonna draw Nimble Strike now or play it now, but you can like, play it now and get rid of. Yeah, I mean, no, no, neither of those can deal damage. Don't damage anything that is below two. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do the synaptic interruption. That's fine, and then I will. Yeah, you could experiment. Use my research Perfect. grant. Pushing the limits and a hug. Oh, so two of the cards that I still have. Alright, well, what are you gonna do? And a fleet of foot. And a light speed brush. Excellent. That's good. I have no problem with that. <coughs> Alright, you have a flying smash, so you can clean up some of that trash. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but if I use Psychic Maelstrom, we'll be able to take out the rest of those carapaces and start hitting her for more. So I'm going to do that. She's immune to damage from villain targets! Oh no! Langes, get rid of the brambles, which is good. Uh, are you going to take out the carapaces? Uh, that's fine. I can do that. Okay. Guess you could take out all the limbs with a flying smash if you want. That's true. If that's a thing you're interested in doing. Well, I mean, there's also the idea of taking out both of the carapaces and then hitting her with the third one since the phalanges is currently neutered. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it can't deal damage. So, yeah, you're right. Did everybody hear that? Sometimes I, you're right. I just want to be clear that for a change, I was right about something. It doesn't happen often, so you gotta you got to hold on to those moments when they come. <laughs> and that causes John to open a bottle. 
Straight. That doesn't do anything. All right, great. And then I will hit the other carapace. <laughs> yes, we did. All right, and I will hit that magic top. Final one. All right, down to 182. All right, pour it on. 178. Another inspiring presence. Why, oh, why are you limited, inspiring presence? Is there really a not, limit to how inspired you can be? Come on. Not with guys. That's true. It's true. I might turn out to be right. That happens. Synaptic interruption time. Sure. Oh, she's immune to. Oh. Right, well, well, you I, can destroy the limb yeah, anyway. I'll get rid of the phalanges. It's fine. Better than us taking it. Jangaroo says run to the hills, to which I say, run to the hills. To which I say, run for your life. Nice. Yeah, that's actually the second Iron Maiden song that has come <laughs> up this evening. The first one was just in chat, and people didn't know what I was saying when I said, Wrathchild. Wrathchild. Because I said, All right, more limbs. I said, Flesh Child, so of course people didn't know what I was talking about. Ooh, what you talking about, limbs. Wiz? So many limbs. All right, still destroying environment or er, equipment cards. So there goes my HUD goggles, but that's okay. And they just played, so they are all already full HPs. Visionary, you can take this. Don't quit your day jobs. Hey, I'll have you know that I was a quite sought after karaoke person for many years. Hey, we shouldn't quit our day jobs though, because we make sentinels for them. That's true. And if so, we quit our day jobs, wow. then not only would game two not come out for for uh, Steam tomorrow, but game three wouldn't even get any further along. That's true. It's sitting right there, and it'd be just like sitting there in iTunes, like, I'm ready, but we'd be quit, so we couldn't put it out. Yeah. And on Steam, just be there forever. Unreleased. It's like they're grinding Akash Mutet down with a loofah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got 22 hit points on her. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's all right. We still uh, all, ha all have over 10 HP. We got we this gonna under control. Are we going to do our lead a foot thing again? <clears throat> um, Sure. I feel like that's a pretty good trick, and I can do it one more time. So uh, I would actually – actually, what I can do is – we have that trick, but I have another trick. Do you have a lot? You have lots of cards to play. You already have a fleet of foot in your hand. I do. All right, so I'm going to instrumental conjuration instead, and I'm going to look for a harp. All right, I'm going to play that harp. I wanted the other thing, but that's okay. Uh, Does anyone have a cool card to play? Actually, I do want to get that Twisty Ether on Tachyon. Hmm. So that's going to happen. Then you can get through uh, damage reduction. And I'm going to discard two to draw three. Yeah, so I should say that I have pretty much just come to terms with the fact that I will never be able to play Argent Adept really well. Um, I can play Argent Adept okay, but I will never be the kind of person who can, like, you know, really conduct the world to the way that a really good Argent Adept player can. Um, sure. I mean, you could say yes and then reduce it, but it's still going to be two damage. Yeah. But you have another one to play, so I would just... Yeah, but I lost my hug goggles, which means I won't get to play two cards. You can play fleet of foot and then another card. That's well, actually, yeah, that's true. Like if I push the limits, and then fleet of foot, I'm I'll still play getting fleet of foot and then pushing the limits. Oh, all right, fair enough. That means one more burst in your trash. Order matters.
Yeah, you've got 15 in the trash now. It's pretty good. I think I would still go with hypersonic. I know. That's what I was. I was looking at the hypersonic. I'm like, with that living rock slide sitting out there. I still have 10 in my in my deck, so I feel like I'm not. I'm not worried so much about losing that. So, all right. So let's get something and increase it by one. All right. Increase by one. What do I want? You can't control me. Oh no! All right, that's okay. You're doing you're doing the right thing, which is that you're choosing completely different damage types for everyone. That's the only thing right. I really care about. <laughs> that's what I like to do. Hyper lightning assault. Uh, sure. Do this one now that you're all pumped up. Uh, ah! Wah, wah. This is the first time you've seen Dark Conductor Argent Adept in your whole life. Yep. You can say you were there when. He conducts traffic. Uh. All right, yeah, demoralization time. He doesn't conduct the traffic. He drives a train. Come on, people. He's the <laughs> dark conductor. I guess, I mean, that minus one is annoying, but it's just kind of annoying. It's not actually... I'm just going to hit Akash Buddha. Choo choo! Thank Aren't you. Really into motivational charges now. Kid blaster. All right, so let's see here. I have a legacy ring and a I motivational charge. I mean, you, you only have ten cards. Play your best one, Jeremy. Exactly. Play the best one. All right, so all the damage dealers are neutered for the moment. Yeah, I see you voted for motivational charge. So I think. Yeah, I, I that like that. Was a real vote. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I was already thinking that. I was actually, I the first thing I did was I started scrolling to see if I had a legacy ring so that I could see if I could get set up for that. Um, all right. So, yeah, motivational charge. Given our current HP status, I don't actually have a problem using that power. So we'll hit Akash Buta for two and heal everybody up for one. Ooh, Dark Conductor can mind control freight train. I like it. <laughs> oh, Prison Riot. Good thing she's on this side now. All right, so we get a char. Time for his prisoner. That's a lot of prison guys. Rogue. All right, block hey. is at zero in deck, so... Yeah, but we can't. We don't have a way to make it play a card until its turn. That's a lot of limbs. Uh, Argent Adept can take this unless someone wants to take it for reasons. Yeah, probably not think... Tachyon. Yeah, Argent Adept can have it. All right. And Argent Adept can continue to have it. All right, starting to get set up here. I'm gonna go, I think, with an Arcane Cadence and look for more things for my business. Hand top, bottom trash, play. That's one of the things that I did commit to memory when we were first testing our Gen Adept way <laughs> back when Infernal Relics was shipping. I was like, hand, trash, bottom, top, <laughs> hand, top, bottom, trash, play. Hand, top, bottom, trash, play. So that I could always remember the order that these were coming out for the arcade cadences. All right, while you're doing this, I'll catch up on the chat on the uh, chat here. 
<laughs> that joke was on the wrong side of the trash. <laughs> uh. Unleashed Visionary is best against villains that don't kill her ongoing quite so much. That that tracks. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, speaking of Visionary, do I want to play one of her cards? No, I don't think so. Tachyon is looking good. Yeah, I kind of want... I guess we have... We don't know what cards we have going on yet. But... Just trying to think of what I might... If I want to do Vernal Sonata, or if I want to just have someone use a power or whatever. I, did, I actually wasn't keeping track of what I put in my bottom because I could have had... Uh, super scientific tachyon play cards for me. But oh, yeah. I didn't think of that. That would be one thing you could think of that would be more than just playing your best card. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. You know, strategy. Uh, I'll still use the harp, though. And I will... The question is, do I want to have someone to use a power or someone to play a card? And... That's really, to me, the main thing. You're probably going to play the Legacy Ring, right? That was the plan. I think that makes sense. Uh, I mean, I could play a bunch of Silver Shadows and heal myself up a bunch, but I actually, like, I prefer to use Silver Shadows to use uh, Inventive Preparation to, like, spam card plays, so... Yeah, well, one uh, other thing I did want to mention is that um, I don't have any more hypersonic assaults, so I was considering Heroic Interception. I mean, obviously, Legacy Ring is the best choice because then I can help us heal, but with this many limbs out, especially two that are doing some weird annoyances when we're all at the same HP, we could keep that ensnaring bram those ensnaring brambles kind of in check with... Um, with a heroic interception. That's not how the brambles work. Oh, the lowest. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if Legacy ends up lowest, then they'll both hit Legacy. And then everybody then else will be- Legacy can't deal damage? They don't deal damage. They just make a hero not able to deal damage. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to think of ways to mitigate this situation since we're starting to get low. Yeah, I'm just seeing what uh, Tekken has in her deck that you might, that potentially we could play the top card. Um, it's not a bad selection. I'm going to go with... Ooh. Just do the best thing, John. Come on. Let's do the, there, yeah, obviously do the best thing, but that's number one, do the best thing. Uh... Number two. Yeah. I'll do this and we'll see what. I'll choose reveal the top two cards and we'll say Tachyon and we'll say Legacy. So Accelerate Assault or Thok. Whoa, I just saw a mention of Katy Perry. Who's talking about Katy Perry? What did I miss? I think Accelerate Assault is going to do more. So I would vote for that. Is Jenguru saying that Skyscraper reminds them of Katy Perry? That's interesting. Well, I guess I could just do what I want. I have tickets to go see Katy Perry in December. My wife and I were just deciding who in our family is going to go. Do damage. Okay. You can just choose for me. Okay. I'll click the things. Tempest is a Katy Perry fan. That is true. That is true. Sadie says, Handelabra Games, I dare you to dress up like Tempest. Uh, excuse me, but a Handelabra hand has dressed up like Tempest within the last three months. Yep. You should go check out uh, some photos from Gen Con. It wasn't this Handelabra, but it was a Handelabra. Good 
gonna mix it up here with some sonic damage. Oh, I see. It only counts if they're at a Katy Perry concert. Well, I don't know that that's going to happen. Maybe I'll wear my guy's costume to the Katy Perry concert. That might be fun. That would actually be really fun now that I think about it. <laughs> like, I would take all kinds of pictures of, like, selfies with Katy Perry in the background. That would be amazing. I would do it. I don't, have a, I don't have a guy's costume. I don't know what anyone's talking about. I'm guys talking is, about this guys decision. Guys person. All right. So let's see here. I have two card plays. 16 burst cards in the trash. All right, I can take out the Living Rock Slide with my Sonic Vortex, and I can get a bunch of other things within striking distance, but not actually destroy them. Yeah, if you do Accelerator Assault and Sonic Vortex. Oh, I yeah. Clear out a lot. Yeah, I like that idea. All right, so let's choose for me here. And let you do the stuff while I read the chat. But does guys have a Jeremy costume? That is actually a really good question. I think that's something you should submit to the letters page for episode 40. Guys actually dresses up as a character who is the CEO of a company called Handelabra Games when he's not fighting crime. That is that is like so many layers. <laughs> <laughs> I like love it. It is it's like an onion. <laughs> that would make me leave the fandom. <laughs> uh, I love the fact that you're a visionary, so you have to do all the stuff. <laughs> and not me. Oh no, more bad oh, things. Oh, more limbs. We knew this was going to happen. Part of the danger. Oh. That's annoying. Oof. All right, the harp is gone. Everything heals back up again. This is ultimate. This is a real deal. We're just gonna keep killing them. Yeah, keep doing it. We probably shouldn't hit the environment, but we're doing it. I guess you don't have to hit the environment with your Sonic Vortex. That's a choice yeah, you can that's make. Fine. That I can, make a man I can leave that alone. Choosing not to do. <laughs> One hour later, 33 health down. I guess you might want to kill a time carriage prisoner. It's going to hit us pretty bad. Might be worth whatever happens. All right. Yeah, failing juice. That's fine. All right. The prisoner was going to do 12 damage to Argent <laughs> So many choices. Yeah, I, I don't. Maybe the accelerated assault wasn't a good plan. That's okay. Don't forget a Kash Buddha. Oh yes, gotta hit a Kash Buddha. All right, and we will stop. So you have 
yeah, actually not a great chance of success on your own deck. I know, I'm looking at it now. If you want just to power up your light speed, then research grant might be the choice, yeah. and then next turn. All right, blinding speed and a lightning reflexes. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So we'll discard one of the blinding speeds, and the next turn I can lightning reflex into... Yeah, both light speeds. And do both light speeds and something else. So that's good. Yeah, demoralize that tree Present. thing. It's too many things. Oh, yeah, speaking of, somebody just mentioned Dr. Medico. Did everybody check out the uh, Oblivion update today? Because there was a specific screenshot of how it works. Because I know a lot of people have asked, like, if you're playing as the Sentinels and then any of the Void Guard are in play, how does it work? How does it work? How does it work? And Christopher Actually, posted a thing that I mean, it. now might not be a bad time for heroic interception because Char is going to... Yeah. I know, Char is going to get killed by Hopeful. So don't, don't, don't worry about anything I said. I'm lying. Okay. Um... Maybe it's not a good time for that. Just think of what I want yeah, to do. Yeah, I can stick with Legacy Ring and heal and damage. Yeah, so Huffle's going to destroy Char. She's going to play a card. Then the environment's going to play a card. Well, yeah, the environment's going to... Well, she's probably going to make the play a target and the environment discards a card and then she reflips and blah, blah, blah. Uh, what I'm saying is... I don't know what to do, but I really want to do damage to all those targets that are really weak. Ladies and gentlemen, it is October 10th, 2017, and on this episode of Sentinels Live, you have heard John say to Jeremy, you were right, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> you can say you were there when, because this is truly unprecedented. What are you going to do? Um... I mean, depending on the outcome of whatever you do, I'm definitely still leaning on Legacy Ring and Inspiring Presence. Probably like, I don't know, maybe Inspiring Presence to one of the, to the, one of the, uh, excuse me, the Living Rock Slide. Would that destroy it? Why are you talking about Inspiring Presence to whatever? Not Inspiring Presence, Um, sorry. Legacy Ring and then use uh, Motivational Charge to destroy something that's gonna do damage to us and then Atomic Glaze to do something else that's gonna do damage. Fair enough. That's what I was thinking. That was not a vote. That was me bumping up against my tablet. I guess I could rest the mind on one of those things. Oh. So I'll rest the mind on that living rock slide, and I will kill it when it... Yeah, okay. Uh, ...does that. And then you can do whatever you want. Except so then not, I'll use my power. That. Yeah, do I want to... Yeah, the minus... Oh, minus a million. I'm gonna kill. I guess one of the phalanges. I want those rocks, those carapaces gone soon, though. Yeah. Yeah. Now she reshuffles. So another damage reduction. Yes. All right. So, yeah. So, Legacy Ring. And then, uh, let's see. Atomic Glare is going to do three damage. So, his Brambles are going to stop Tachyon from dealing damage right now, if you're wondering. All right. Yeah. Which you don't want. So, you might want to kill them. Yeah. So, should that be my thing, is to get rid of both of the Brambles with my two things that I, I can do? I think so. All right. So I will kill the first one with my motivational charge. I will heal everybody up a little bit. We want Tachyon to be able to do the damage. And then I will hit the other brambles. Lefe's bramble. Tabula rasa. Any, any Buffy fans out there? No? We'll see. Not here. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate Buffy, but I'm also not a fan. Yeah, yeah like, you're not familiar. Don't really care. <laughs> yeah. Prison Riot. 
And she plays a million cards. Fellow Sorcerer is a Buffy fan. Young Haribu says, which Buffy? Please. Destroy all environment cards. Including Prison Riot, which stopped it in his tracks. So she stops playing half her deck. Amazing. I mean, she still plays one more, but... And then it plays one, and then she plays one. Uh, but Louis says, I'm one of the weird ones who prefers the Buffy movie. The Buffy movie's got some stuff going on. I'm not trying to say that it was a complete waste. You can appreciate both for uh, for what they are. I mean, they even call out the movie from later in the series. I think we would have won if we weren't on, on challenge by now. But we are, John. But we are challenged. This hurts. That flipped us all to below 10, basically, except for Urge and Adept. There goes your legacy ring. Here comes the super heels. Thank you, Cytosine. It is always appropriate if you're gonna have candy that you bring enough for everybody. So we appreciate that. Well, this was supposed to be killing the Living Rock side, but now it has full hit points. Yeah, it seems that the tables have turned here. The tables have torn. Yeah, because now that this is all the way healed up, so resting the mind on it is actually going to deal us more damage rather yeah. than destroy it. Skipping it. <sighs> hey, listen. We're still alive. We are still alive. It's not over yet. I didn't say it was. I just said the tables had turned. Yeah, they're actually the freaky portrait for <laughs> our adept. He's pretty freaky. The red eyes. Uh, yeah. Should I heal myself up a bunch? Take some damage? I think so. Yeah, Paul Rubens, when you say Paul Rubens was playing a different role in that movie, I don't know that that's exactly the truth. <laughs> he was kind of just playing Pee Wee as a vampire. And maybe that's a controversial statement to people who are really super fans of the movie, but that's kind of how I saw it. <laughs> All right, top card. You might not want to put a burst if you're planning to uh, do your thing. Okay. Right. Um, you could put like hypersonic and then draw it next turn. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just take my ring back. Oh, I don't have my harp anymore. Oh, well. Uh, I forgot about that. Well, let's just do this. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> it's that time of the evening. Mm -hmm. 
Lou Dolphin just started watching. I don't know if you can spare the HPs. Yeah. I mean, I have my lightning reflexes. All right, let's see here. If I do that, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Where are your takedowns? You take down. Yeah, I'm just gonna say no. There are two carapaces. Carapaci? I don't even know if that's. Well, you can play pushing the limits. Push it to the limit. That's true. I can push the limits. And then so you have two cards in your deck that don't match. So just yeah. keep that in mind. No, I know. I like I already looked it because I wanted to see if there were any more bursts that I could potentially get. Yeah, I mean my default position here would be lightning reflex and then double light speed barrage against the Kashbuta. But then I'm trying to think like should I try and kill one of the carapaces first? It wouldn't help us super right now, but it would like get us in a better position for next turn. But I just don't know. Yeah, do it. Do it to kill one of the carapaces and then hit Akash with the second one, or just hit Akash? No, just hit Akash. Hit just hit Akash twice. All right. Like you're gonna be reshuffling, so like now's the time. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, freezer hit. Boom, almost 70 and points down. I would almost like experiment on someone else. Yeah. Like see. legacy or something. Or visionary, try to do something cool. You don't have to reshuffle, that's true. But it's time to reshuffle. Yeah, let's... Visionary or Legacy? What do we think? Eeny, meeny, legacy meeny, meeny, is less likely to kill herself by doing this. Possible still, but less likely. Wah, wah. Oh well. And you do the two cards that are in your deck. So I do have one more Vernal Sonata that I can put a light speed barrage on top. <coughs> if you want. And we can play it on your on next turn. Hmm. That thing. I think I'm gonna go cocoon. Unless you, like I'm thinking that's probably decent. I guess I could go decoy projection and survive another round. That living rock slide is a pain in the butt. I want to rest the mind on it and kill it, but so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to shoot it. Actually, if I, oh, I can't deal damage. I'm already rewind to play a card. I'm going to go into cocoon after all and rest the mind in perpetuity and have the living rock slide do things for me. That's my plan. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, let's see here. All right, if I bolster allies, that's going to reshuffle Tachyon. I'd probably play Fortitude. Yeah, I was looking at Fortitude. I'm just trying to see what else, if there's anything else interesting I could do. Yeah, that's fine. 
All right, so what am I? What should I? What are the best choices for me to hit with these? The the reliving rock slide that's not mind rested. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Healing, 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 healing. There's that legacy ring. Oh yeah, you only have one power now. Yeah. Entomb. That entomb is gonna not be good for us. Nope, it's bad time. <laughs> uh, it kills, it doesn't actually kill anyone, but it's bad, real bad. Tachyon's gonna be gone. Tachyon's gonna be tacky gone. <laughs> oh dear. Well, it's only one, but. But it's the bad one. <clears throat> Ugh, another mountain scarabus. Yeah, this is rough. Right, this is the rest of mine one, so. I can have it hit something else. Uh, man, but the minus one, that's a pain in the butt. Guess I'll have it hit the other living rock slide. But it won't be enough. There's two of them. Yeah. Whew. Man, who designed this ultimate rules? It doesn't even seem balanced. Definitely doesn't seem balanced. Wah, wah. Hey, Visionary has the highest. Definitely, definitely the highest. And now the rock sides take out Tachyon and Archon Adept. Flip. Well, you get to see the flip side of Dark Conductor. Turns around and shows you his back. It's so cool. It's like I have this bloody rose for you. I like the character card artwork. It's like I've got this. I'm evil now. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. Can Legacy play a card to effect? Play Legacy Ring. I could play Legacy Ring. Play the legacy ring, or whatever you want. Yeah, Crash Padon Ultimate, pretty hard. Even if you think that you've got things under control, it just goes sideways. Yeah, so many HPs and, like, no limbs to help. Yeah, the limbs. I think we would have won if it wasn't for the ultimate. All right, so what do we think? Get rid of that Entombed, or is there something else you think is more important? Uh, I mean, the Entombed is kind of academic, based on everything else. Right. So if there's something that, like Legacy could become immune to a couple damage types. Actually, that could be good. Like if you play your next evolutions and use them both to become immune to Psychic and, and uh, Projectile. You would hmm. be safe from Akash Buddha. That's Actually, right. Actually, no, I do... she, she does her advance, but she's not flipping yet. But soon. You could do that. All right, so yes. Okay, so play next evolution, and then on my turn, play my other next evolution, and then with my legacy ring, use both of them? Yeah. I mean, we're stalling, but demoralization is going to yeah. help. 
right? So, possibly. If I got Twisted Ether on myself, that would be good, but I don't want to come out of the cocoon because if I do, I'll die. So I'm going to stay in the cocoon. Let's hold a second next evolution. Yeah, and, and Tomb is Psychic, and then the other is Projectile. Hey, take down, we're waiting for that all game. At least the environment's quiet. Immune, immune. Fast forward through all this. I think uh, Legacy can keep playing cards. Right. Um, to keep doing cool stuff. Yeah, Bolster Allies is two card draws, Thok is some damage, and a single card draw. Yeah, probably play Thok. Oh, but oh you can't I can't deal damage. Ah! All right, rewind and we'll play both rallies. All right. <laughs> Danger sense and what did what did visionary draw? I didn't see. Uh, something. Mine spike. Well, he may as well destroy the entomb then. Yeah. And then you don't have to be immune to psychic anymore. You could do something else. Like you could, you could become immune to projectile and then use motivational charge, right? Right. For yeah. So the uh, environment's going to reshuffle. So, oh, it's melee. Ah, oh, man. Um, let's see. Yeah, don't worry about the fairy angels. They're gonna hit. Go after the visionary. Yeah, I was actually I was looking at heroic interception, as like, oh, what if we could get the visionary out of her cocoon? I mean, you could, but you would have to like. I would need to get out of the cocoon. I want to wait until I have my twisted ether in hand before I do that. Sure. And then, yeah, you could do that. Because you can't deal damage, right? You can play Heroic Interception, no problem. Right. Uh, but you could play uh, Takedown and become immune to it, or you could um, use Motivational Charge for us to get us a hit point. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to use Motivational Charge and Next Evolution to become immune to... Um... Oh, wait a minute. Projectile, yeah. yeah. Projectile, yeah. Well, you could play Superhuman then, if you want. Or Danger Sense. Yeah. I already have a Danger Sense in play, so I'll put Superhuman. And have too many Danger Senses. All right, so next evolution for Projectile. And then I'll Motivational Charge. Can't deal damage, but at least we can heal each of us for one. Back for strike. Oh, That's she's gonna reshuffle and deal damage though. Should have been immune to whatever she deals on her flip side and on oh, advance. Shoot. Melee. See look, danger sense, saving your ass.
That's all right. Your fortitude saves your butt here. And that hit point you got. So. Oh, no. Allies of the Earth. That's bad. That's against our slowly winning strategy. Uh, you can destroy it with Tachyon, though. So. True. Uh... Yeah, I really want Tachyon to draw just the ether on her to play it on herself. So I'm gonna get her to draw draw a card. Yeah, you need to destroy Allies of the Earth because that is bad. That's gonna get her back to full in short order. Yeah. Well, at least we don't have damage reduction on this side. But those carapaces do hurt. No, I don't want to destroy the cocoon. I mean, I do, but I don't. So yeah, you're gonna need to be immune to melee and projectile now. Right. Or you will die. All right, so currently I'm not immune to anything, right? Yeah. You could punch, oh, but you can't deal damage. Also. Yeah. <laughs> Double time. So you may as well, I don't know. I didn't draw a twist either, so I would continue not playing heroic interception just yet. All right, so I need to be melee. Melee and projectile. And projectile. And maybe we'll come out of this. This is, hopefully we're gonna show you exactly why you don't just give up. But maybe we'll lose. <laughs> yeah, Those Char are... has come out, so. That's. Yeah, I'm not immune to either of actually, those. Actually, no, actually, we're both, no, but uh, you're immune to environment targets because of danger sense. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And, but Char's but, gone anyway, so. And we're destroying our own, like, <laughs> actually, this is why you play so many danger senses, because so that you have buffer. Mm -hmm. See, look, destroy your danger sense. Definitely destroy your super. Uh, Two more. What else do you have in hand? Destroy your inspiring presence. Sure. Can play another one. Uh, I can't destroy my cocoon. I guess you destroy your motivational charge. You'll be able to play it later if you want. Or you could destroy danger sense, but that could be. Do you have another danger sense? I don't think you do. You kind of want it. Yeah. I mean, it's fortitude or more motivational charge, I think. Yeah, I would probably get rid of motivational charge. Yeah. Come on. That's not what you want. Well, that could have been worse. Yeah, brambles, all right, whatever. Well, at least that prisoner is gonna kill uh, a limb <laughs> for us. If it survives. Should we start rooting for Akash yet, says Dick Walker? Voting? Didn't I vote? Oh, sorry. Actually, the living rock slide is going to kill that time crazy prisoner. Yeah, as I was going to say, if it survives. <laughs> Which it does not. And we're going to disrupt the field. Is that a legacy ring? And That's let's heal those all up. That sounds like a good idea. Heal them all up. Come on. We should have played the Court of Blood. <coughs> hey, we got another time crazy prisoner. Which is gonna get no, it's not gonna get killed. 
Oh man. All right, do we need Legacy to play a card? Do you need more things? Yeah, you don't have your Legacy Ring anymore, so you can only be immune to one of the damage types. Mm. So you need either hit points or power, or you're gone. Uh, so you kind of need to draw a card and hope to get the Legacy Ring, right? Uh, yes. So what are you thinking? Let me play Thok? No, I can't do anything with it? Well, I can just let you draw a card. Oh, or just draw a card. Sure. Flying nope. Smash. Nope. Well, Tachyon can let you... Oh, put the bottom card of a deck on the top of that deck. That's like, we need Tachyon to go first. <laughs> uh, yeah... I guess you could have. We could have had you play Inspiring Presence and then had Tachyon destroy Inspiring Presence so that you could play it again. <laughs> yeah, that would have worked. Uh, or you can play Thok and hope to draw a Legacy Ring. Yeah, I mean I've got one in my deck. In my deck, so it's worth a try. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Superhuman durability. Nope. Yeah, so you are going to die to the living... Oh, there's only one living rock slide. I thought there were two. Okay, you're not going to die. If you play Inspiring Presence, you'll live. I thought there were two, but... Uh... Just be immune to melee. Okay. I won't do anything and hope to draw my twisty ether. Continue to hope for my twisty ether. Nope. Yeah, if you play Inspiring Presence, then your fortitude will let you survive the one living rock slide. Unless she's going to play living rock slide, but she isn't. But she's going to destroy all of her ongoing cards. So that sucks. Hmm. You need to be mean to melee. I don't know about this stuff. Uh, yeah. Hit one of them. Yeah, I will say, like, as as long as they tend to be, I really do dig Akash Buta games. They feel like somehow more epic, I think, than a it's lot of It's pretty games. epic. Yeah. Like you, and you always feel like you have a chance, even though you might not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, this challenge rule is rough. Destroy the first card. I don't want to destroy any cards. You can destroy an uh, inspiring presence because you can play one more. But yeah, I think one of the next evolutions. Yeah. Uh, the danger sense. And I feel like it has to be the other next evolution and we're going to have to give up yep. Legacy. Yep, Legacy's got to take one for the team here. The team being, of course, the Visionary Unleashed. She has removed her leash. I mean, she is hiding a cocoon instead of doing anything. Uh, all right. So are we going to hope for Legacy to be able to do anything at this point? Um, I mean, Legacy could play Inspiring Presence. That would still be useful. Yeah, that was my first thought. It would, it would um, at least heal her up for one. And actually, Tachyon could put a uh, Twist the Ether on top of Divisionary's deck. 
So. Nova Kid Blaster says this is an <clears throat> unwinnable game, and that may be, but here at Sentinels Live, we play till the very last turn. We never give up, never surrender. So here's a question. Yeah, block guard is gonna kill. You don't have danger sense anymore, do you? I'm trying to think no. of like we could still try to do that hurricane interception thing, but I think it's too late. Uh, we could destroy the block guard, but anything else could come out and kill legacy. So let's play that inspiring presence to get another damage and a hit point for the visionary. And here for Tekken, can we put uh, Twist the Ether on the top of her deck? Say it again. This one. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. I, I thought it was put a card from Trash. Ah, uh, uh, well, whatever. That's fine. Choose the Visionary. Could be cool. It's Precognition. Oh, well. I misread it. Uh, all right. Choose for me. Jeremy, you were right. Jeremy was well, you weren't right. I, you just, no, no, no. I'm I'm listing off all the things you've said in this episode. I miss <laughs> I misread it. You were right. I was wrong. You you people were here for a her, historic and historic episode and of Sentinels Historic. Live. Fair enough. This is the visionary game now. I mean, legacy is technically alive. The best kind of alive. Uh, you can't deal damage and the environment's going to kill you. So I guess you could help Visionary draw a card. That might be the best thing you can do. Man, no love tonight. I'm not going to bother. And then the visionary won't be able to deal damage, and then we're kind of screwed. <laughs> so we might just end it and play another game. Hey, you can't deal damage times three. Awesome. Four. Goes legacy. Yeah, I mean, the visionary could potentially survive for an indefinite amount of time, but she's not gonna be able to deal damage, and so yeah, it's basically gonna be almost impossible, except unless you hope the environment uh, is lucky enough to d destroy the brambles. Like it's possible, but it's highly unlikely. So. You could destroy the cocoon if you want. I'll do that. Boom. No, oh, she can't deal damage to herself, even though I wanted to. <laughs> I tried to use brain burn to kill myself, but it didn't work. Yeah, when you get to this point where there's one hero left and there's brambles, you basically are hoping that the environment will help you. And so it's possible, but it's super unlikely that you might win. We'll play it out. Hey, we get double entombed. The visionary will be entombed within the earth. And there it is. Ooh, you get a quick view of the unleashed visionary in Kevard there for a second. That was a good try. It was a good try. It's only an hour and 40 minutes. It doesn't feel at all like wasted time. <laughs> Bye, Jew. All right.
We have 20 minutes or more. I'm going to do apostate, the topic of today's letters page, where we learned about his cool scar. Yeah, I haven't listened to the apostate episode yet. Yeah, I've listened to the first little bit. All right, hang on. Let's do this. Let's go hero, hero, randomize. Oof, I got a guys. All right, that's fine. We'll do this. Boom. You got a guys. Now I'll grab another new variant. Final Wasteland. On regular, not. Yeah, definitely. Not for you. All right, so we got <laughs> Apostate versus Extreme Primorns Fanatic, Extreme Primorns uh, Haka. Uh, Skyscraper Extremist and Santa Guys! It's all about the variants during the fall of the variants. Fall of the variants. Fall of the variants hype! So focused and full of certainty, but what if everything you are so certain of is a lie? I'll enjoy breaking your spirit. Ooh, that's the thing about apostate. He lies with the truth! You've been judged and found wanting, vile betrayer. By my hand, you shall fall. All right, let's let's blast through this since we only have like 15 minutes. All right, we got uh, Ages of Resurrection, Brutal Censure, Sacrosanct Martyr, and Undaunted. Haka's got Dominion, Two Punish the Weeks, and a Savage Mana. Extremist Skyscraper's got an Aggression Modulator, Compulsion Canister, Cortex Hyper Simulator, and Emergency Evac. And guys, I've got to look what I found. Retcon, and where did I leave that? All right, so we got Condemnation. An Impilferer. Got some damage dealing. No equipment. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, let's see. I'm going to start with... Oh, I'm sorry. Fan. You're fanatic. Derp. Let's explain any more killy. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's... <laughs> yeah, we'll savage mana. I'm gonna do this to skyscraper, I think. Draw ground pound. I support that decision. It's a decision I choose. Indeed. You can destroy that imp, hey? Yeah, you should do that. Oh, the bottom of my deck was another a neutralizing resonator. Mm -hmm. It's like that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Please destroy the imp. I know. I'm. I'm just. I'm, I remember. I as despite dressing as guys, I still don't actually know how to play guys really well. So well, I have to that's not my cards. fault, Jeremy. I just have to read the cards. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Ching 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 Presents. Gritty reboot. Alright, Khan's bunker. Sure. I'll go into Haka. That's fine. He can take it. I mean, there's only two of them left in the entire multiverse, so. All right. I'm going to use Divine Sacrifice, and so you should choose your power on Fnatic. Okay. Because all his damage is going to Fnatic. Now 
Nice. How you do it? Sacrosanct Martyr plus Extreme Prime Arms Fanatic. Super cool. Only works once, though, unless you can do more than one power. Yeah. You won't believe number three. <laughs> yeah. I want to go to a different size, but I can't. <laughs> Female Haka? Did did uh did Adam do a swaptober for Haka? No. I oh. said I wish. Oh okay. I was gonna say I didn't see that one yet. The uh the female Corona Ranger was was awesome. I think my favorite though is the Citizen Dawn, Citizen Truth and Dare swaptober so far. I like the setback one and expatriate. Mm, that one was good. pretty good, yeah. Oh yeah, I did that wrong. Can I rewind? You can, because we put that in the game. Actually, I should be putting Compulsion Canisters on Fanatic. That'd be smart. Mm. Didn't think of that before, did I? Didn't, but now I have. Uh, but if I put it on Fanatic, that's the thing. It like ends up going... Or if I put it on Apostate, it redirects to Fanatic and goes to Haka, and that's bad. Uh, so I'm going to put that in play next to Condemnation... Because Fnatic doesn't have her thing anymore. She, it expired. But Condemnation will hit itself and apostate. There we go. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, female Hawker is already a thing. I'm not sure if you're aware, Jeremy. I'm not. I mean, you listen to the letters page, didn't you? I do. I don't always catch everything. But, like, there is... There are two Hakas that were created when Haka was created by... Spoiler alert. Right, right. And there's the Haka we know, and there's the Haka that shows up in the RPG and in the Oblivion event, uh, who is Arataki and has uh, been shown some artwork. Gotcha. I think she's been shown in some of the letters, in some of the Kickstarter updates, or maybe in the, uh, the ARG, I can't remember. But there is some artwork already out there. Uh, you say no? I don't know. Sure. See? It's gonna gape just does the whatever. That's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. It feeds up our combination, so that's good. It's the imp. Ah, uh, destroy the card. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Destroy a card. So many links. I guess I can destroy a link. Destroy a compulsion canister. Actually, no, destroy the other compulsion canister. Okay. All right. I'm going to continue hitting Apostate with Nemesis bonus. the game once you play ground pound. I know. <laughs> mm. 
I was like within a hair's breadth of playing Ground Pound this turn, but. But you chose not to. I did. All right, I can put an aggression modulator on the Skunk Ape. That seems like a good idea. And then I can use my tiny attack on apostate. <laughs> Luke Dolphin just said, I want the record to show that Jeremy just played Hawker <laughs> Restoration. I did. I was trying to, I, I didn't want to play, whatever, I'm not going to justify it. I played Hawker Restoration. <laughs> Do with that what you will. It's unjustifiable. All right. Uh, what's on the horde skunk ape? Oh, aggression modulator. Okay. Um. Hmm. Can you kill that other impilfer? <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Actually, the chupacabra will kill it, so don't worry about it. Okay. Do something else. can do this again. All right, another say cheese. Let me see that. In Sentinels Live number three, Mark says, you Good. discard Hawk of Restoration because you never play that card. <laughs> Whoa. I know. It's like... you that, were... that is a deep cut. Yeah. Now you are older and wiser. I probably should have said I never play that card unless I have nothing else to do, which is literally why I did it here, because I was like, I don't want to do any of those other things. Uh, yeah, we'll get one more round of gifts. And then, like, I feel like with, with Santa Guys, I feel like unless you have at least three cards, I feel like I don't want to open presents. Like, three is my threshold for, like, this is going to be an awesome opening of presents. What about later in the game, though, when everyone's already opened their presents? Well, yes. They're off. Sure, but like we're not in that phase yet. That's true. All right, let's keep the bunker yeah, going. Yeah, keep it going. You love the bunker. You just love bunker. Red Beast, New Jersey Devil. Yeah, Khan's bunker and the library both. I almost, I almost always take like give me whatever you got environment so I can keep those around. Mainly, mainly. So like, let's just let's just cut to brass tacks here. When I'm playing in the in the final wasteland, my almost invariable strategy is try to get unforgiving wasteland out and get the environment to kill the the villain stuff. That is like my favorite thing. Like get them to like take everything out of the game. That's what I like to try and do when I'm playing in the final wasteland. It doesn't always work out, but when it does, it is glorious. And I don't know why this reminded me of this, but did everybody get their tickets to go see Star Wars The Last Jedi? New trailer came out last night. It seems pretty amazing. And I already have my tickets. Yeah, get rid of those neuralizing radiators. Or neutralizing. I won Holy Nova, but I didn't get it. So I'm just going to do something else like Sanctifying Strike. I'm going to deal myself five damage. And I'm going to choose me to redirect it, not Haka. And I'm going to do that again. You still don't have cards you want to play, Jeremy. I don't. <laughs> Maybe they're all in your presence. So this is the thing, and like I, I understand that Unforgiving Wasteland is not out, but like Ground Pound keeps that from being a thing that can happen, <laughs> and that is very not exciting for me. Well, let's play Dominion then. Yeah, actually, I don't have a problem with Dominion. I like Dominion. And then maybe when you open your presents, there'll be a rampage. Yeah, Dominion. I love Dominion. I bought these boots on Dominion. Who knows? Uh, who knows what movie that was from? What, what? What's the website for Dominion.ca? <laughs> Quick, what's the website for Amazon.ca? Amazon.ca. This this thing says I have email. All right, uh, da 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 da. We'll do fanatic again. Why not? Uh, 
Love those jammies. Destroy a card. Those are all good cards. Don't want to. All right, I am going to go huge and blow things up now. Oh Sorry. yeah, so Bolnarap says, I will probably see uh, Blade Runner 2049 this weekend with my brothers-in-law. Um, if, if you don't follow me on Twitter, first of all, what's wrong with you? But second of all, uh, I had a confession that I put out on Twitter earlier this week, which is that I have, to my knowledge, never made it through a viewing of, of the original Blade Runner without falling asleep. Despite that, I do own, I do own the five disc Blu-ray Final Cut edition. <laughs> Because it's a movie that like I've always wanted to like more than I actually do, and I feel like it's so important that I should like it, and so I've continued to buy it, even though I don't actually know if I like it or not. So that is my my dirty confession. You can all skewer me in the chat room to your heart's content. Blade Runner is great. I'm blowing up lots of things. But you get to draw lots of cards. 2049 is so good. Go see it, says Menser. I want to go see the new Blade Runner. I just did destroy a non-target so I could do more damage to everything. So here's where you guys burn my geek card. The next movie that I will see in theaters is absolutely 100% confirmed to be the My Little Pony movie. Because I'm taking my youngest daughter to go see it on Saturday, and that is already scheduled. <laughs> good job. All right, let's see. Um, ooh, if I do that. Hmm. Play selling it and do all sorts of cool stuff in the environment turn. Oh yeah, that's true. Let's see, one shot, one shot, one shot. And if you open your own presence, you might have damage boosts and stuff. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, I was trying to figure out if I can get rid of condemnation now and then we can just wail on apostate, but I'm the last hero, so I don't know. No, the that environment's going to get rid of condemnation. Oh, is it? That. Well, might. If you play selling out, you can definitely get rid of it. All right, we'll do selling out. Revo Cola. Experimentally refreshing. Experimentally <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> All right, and I'll do myself. Look at that. Super Brilliant. Ultra, selling out. Amazing. Get to use the sideways meanwhile button to see what's happening. Oh, Savage. You can copy Savage Man and put cards underneath and copy Dominion and draw out the cards. All right. I don't know if I've ever put cards under, oh yeah, I'm that guy before, but <laughs> you get to do that. All right, so. So end of your turn, you can play a card. Yeah, so should I look what I found and kill one of those, or? You could retcon a rat beast and draw a bunch of cards and maybe get something else. Ooh, play it. okay, all right. Uh, all right, yeah, so let's... Yeah, let's... put it underneath. <laughs> nice. And then you might get to use the power also. Guys, Barbarian. I just work out. Oh, man. See, this is where I start getting all tripped up on guys. Like, I don't yeah, even like, know what's happening. Yeah, like, on the Chupacabra. <laughs> Or play Guy the Barbarian, that's good. Yeah, too. I was looking at Guy's the Barbarian. Yeah, then on the environment turn, you're going to get to do whack of damage, right? So. Death Worm! Right, so here the Skunk Ape is first going to destroy the Chupacabra, which is going to let you draw cards. It's going to let everyone draw cards. Draws a Dominion. Meta. Intercession. Let me see that. Oh, yeah, I'm that guy. All right. All right, so you can discard. If you discard a one shot, it lets you play one shots or it's keyword sharing thing. Yeah. All right, so let's see here. Discard that. Uh... 
I recommend discarding a one-shot because you could play like a Mickey character say cheese that would let you then play whatever. You yeah, like. that's why I'm looking at what my options are. So like if I discard one of the look what I founds. I wouldn't discard one of those. That's lots of damage. I'd probably discard Gimmicky Character, because you already have Oh Yeah, right? So, okay, like, all right. All right, so I'll discard Gimmicky Character. And then you can play these damagers to, like, wail on things. Like, you could say cheese on the, on the condemnation and then almost kill apostate. Actually, you might be able to kill apostate right now. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. So, like, if I say cheese... Condemnation. All right, so say cheese condemnation. That's gone. Yeah, put it in B. Oh yeah, the guy. definitely. <laughs> All right, so I get to play. If I play, look what I found. That'll still be around, so I'll get to do more damage next turn. Next time. Or next time, right? Right? Yeah. So I hit apostate. And then you can play Say Cheese. Oh, you did it wrong. But you still did enough I'm damage. I'm still going to do it, though, right? Yeah. Still enough damage. But yeah! You can say, okay, but yeah, that's good. That's what I'm talking about. Nice job. And it's only two minutes after nine. <laughs> we did it. That's So if anyone's like, guys, what a useless character, there you go. It's all guys. And I only need to be coached by John and probably half of the chat room to figure out how to do that. <laughs> Someday I'll learn how to play the character. You would have come around to it, maybe. That dresses as me. Yeah, exactly, Lou Dolphin. Never question me. I know what I'm doing. That is good times right there. All right, so we should probably, like, release a variant or something. Do we have to? Maybe we could just leave. No one will care. Yeah, nobody. nobody's, like, waiting for it or anything. Nobody's watching this just to find out what the new variant maybe is we'll going to be. Maybe we'll see if the chat, if anyone wants to say which variant they want to see the most. And then we'll just put out the one that <laughs> we'll we were put going out the to, we're gonna do anyway. <laughs> you know, yeah, we actually know exactly which one it's going to be, but you guys can certainly try to. Yeah. What do you What do you think? Try what to sway us. Be? I know what Nova Kid Blaster wants. All right, I see a uh, Porcha 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 skyscraper, Chrono Ranger skyscraper skyscraper. Man, if only this was a democracy, but it's not. That it's a gerimocracy, <laughs> a gerinjanimocracy. Right. All right, I'm opening my thing. Open your thing. I will also open the thing that I need to open here. Replace file. So, by the way, if anybody's not watching The Good Place, the first season is available on Netflix. You should totally watch it. The season two yeah, is good. starting now. It is hilarious and I love it. I just discovered it like four days ago and I'm already all the way caught up. Yeah, because Brittany's watching it. That's how much I like it. I think she just got to the, the season finale, the first season, which is, I mean, no spoilers. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> uh, yeah, and actually, that's actually one of the main reasons why I watched it is because some people were like, I want to tell you about season two, but I can't if you haven't watched season one, so you should go watch season one. And I was like, all right, sold. <laughs> all right. Let me make sure I get the right variant here. That's important. Yep. I'm also making sure I have the right one. Trying to grab it. Let's upload this file. Oh, All right. So I'm gonna now. I'm gonna make the variant available, and then we're gonna see who in the chat notices first which one it is. Mm -hmm. How about that? That's gonna be the announcement. The chat is going to announce it. So we're just gonna wait and see for the chat to announce it. Do, 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 do. Joining asks, who decides the release schedule? We do. We do! Because we are... The chat has Congrats. announced. The chat. It's Chrono Ranger, it is best of times. Chrono Ranger, the best of times, the worst of times. So good luck in your search to unlock Chrono Ranger. Yeah, we just want to remind everybody that the current record for for our time from unlock 
you know, to be from becoming available to official first unlock is something like 32 minutes right now. <laughs> Set, I believe, by a Bolner app for Extreme Prime Warden's Tempest? The Tempest. I think it was Tempest. So it is 9.05. If somebody can get it done by 9.37. And I think the longest was the first one. Arson Adept wasn't unlocked until, like, Monday, right? I mean, that's not the longest ever. No, the longest in the fall. In of the variant. fall of variants, right? Yeah. Okay. The longest ever, yeah, was something else. Something, and yeah, it was like we had to drop copious hints to yeah. make it happen. All righty. Uh, Spider Gloom, we were one of those ones. Yeah, definitely. They were tough. All right, so that is going to do it for another episode of Sentinels Live. Sentinels of the Multiverse is the only cooperative comic book card game that you should be playing. It is our third anniversary this weekend. There's going to be all kinds of cool stuff happening. Tune in to at Handelabra on Twitter or Facebook.com slash Handelabra or join our mailing list from Handelabra.com to find out exactly what all kinds of cool stuff is going to be happening for the uh, anniversary this weekend. Um, I promise Uh-oh. it's going to be cool. Tomorrow, yes, thank you, John. Tomorrow, game two, bottom of the ninth, is releasing for Steam, so tell your friends. Um, there might be a sale involved, not only for Steam players, but also for mobile players, so tell your friends. Uh, keep, keep, us. Uh, what am I supposed to say? He's gone, he's just keep gone. Keep subscribed, <laughs> keep an eye on all of our social media and all that other stuff uh, to find out exactly what the situation is with that, and that'll all be happening tomorrow. And then, of course, check out SentinelsDigital.com for more information about Sentinels of the Multiverse and to download and try the demo absolutely free. That might not be the only thing you're able to try for free this weekend. (gasps) Oh, my God, did I let the cat out of the bag? If you already own the game, we would really appreciate it if you would rate and review us on your chosen store. That really does help. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Good night. I'm Jeremy. I'm John. Good night. Good night from the Multiverse, and we will see you here. Same time, same, same channel next week. Good night, everybody.